Welcome. You folks like this setup here? The shit I do for this channel. Anyways, last video, I was working on my Subaru trying to fix a power loss problem and a misfiring problem. And I was tried to fix that by cleaning the MAF sensor, but that didn't do dick. Now, some of you in the comments recommended perhaps I should replace the MAF. I, w I would try that, but um, I unplugged the MAF sensor and that just made the engine so much worse. So I don't think it's necessarily the MAF. What I do think it's perhaps the coil pack because I've replaced the coils to the spark plugs when I pulled the engine to replace the rear main seals. I haven't made the video on that yet. I have the footage, still haven't made it yet though. And you know, it smells to me like an electrical issue. You know, oh, it only happens when it's wet. As if something is shorting inside the engine. So, coil pack it is. Let's try it. Parts cannon, part two. Since we're dealing with electrical, let's start with the battery. 10 millimeter socket will remove the battery terminals. And in case there's anything actually wrong with the coil pack, nothing is going to zap. The only annoying part is it'll reset all my nice programming with not having that stupid seatbelt chime. So the coil pack is on the passenger side, or closer towards the passenger side. It's right here, and it's kind of sitting underneath the snorkel. So I'm going to remove this to make my life a bit easier. There isn't a whole lot to the snorkel. It's just two clips here that hold the uh, air filter box in place and then we got these two hose clamps that we just need a flathead for disconnect the mass airflow sensor connector and set this aside so we got the ignition coil cables here now you have to pay attention which order they're in. I mean, you got one, three, two, four, so I should probably label these because I know myself I'm going to forget. <laughs> Witness me, everybody. Now this, this right here, this is big brain time. We're just going to unplug them now. They should pop right off, maybe with some struggle. Yeah, there we go. I guess I'll worry about that they're number four a bit later. Quite difficult to reach. Anyways, we've got four uh, 10 millimeter bolts to take care of. One, two, two up top and two down below. Let's struggle. I'm gonna move this sensor out of the way too. Hmm. Bit wet this thing. Interesting. There we go. This provides much better reach. Now this bolt was easy to reach from the side, again with my 10 millimeter wrench. But what's interesting to me is that as soon as I got rid of this bolt, the whole coil pack goes flying. And that's actually quite blessed because that fourth bolt, if there ever was to be one, is quite a pain in the ass to reach. So now all I gotta do, I got the connector. I hope you can sort of see it right here. Should be able to just push that in. Ah, there it goes. Let's compare now. So I, what I bought is this Duralast C1709. And they look pretty much identical. So there shouldn't be really any trouble here. The connector is the same. So that's great. Should be a drop-in replacement. Now basically everything in reverse order. And this one's designed just like the old one. This hole is not used for your convenience. I'm gonna start by putting that connector right back where I found it. All right, I had to do that off camera. It's been such a struggle. <laughs> but yeah, you'll struggle a little bit. It's kind of tight here, but 
the label certainly came in handy. So yeah, now we're all mostly reconnected. Not a strange issue. Why? Why is there a chicken wing in my car? I don't remember having any chicken wings lately. Like, what the heck? <laughs> this is weird. Oh, uh, sorry, I found the problem. Our chicken wing problem. Like, seriously weird. Why is that down there? Alright. <laughs> Alright, all dressed up here. Battery terminal back. Snorkel back. MAF back. This connector, for whatever sensor that is, back. And it's all plugged in. Let's see if it fires up. Alright, that's a good sign. Let's take it out for a spin. Well, let's see. Let's try this again. And here we go. That it helped. So we've installed the ignition coil pack and it's a wonderfully rainy and wet day. I couldn't have asked for a better test condition. So let's start the engine and hopefully there won't be any misfires. You can listen for the misfires. You'll probably hear the um, fuel pump in the back twittering. That's promising, but it often also happens under load, so let's see. Ordinarily, I'd have to give it like a ton of gas. There's an occasional misfire, but nothing nearly as bad as what it used to be. So I think it improved the uh, it improved on the problem drastically. Hey, and what a lovely day we're having! Fix the problem. Doesn't misfire anymore. It still accelerates like a detuned turbine, but. At the very least, that problem is gone. Now, as for the power loss issue, I'm starting to suspect it might be like a clogged up catalytic converter or something else because it sounds like the engine bogs when you really slam on the gas pedal and it has the power, but no way to deliver it to the wheels, no way to push out that exhaust. So I'll have to fix that some other time when I'm finally in the house. And speaking of houses, this is now, ooh, I've been living in this motel room since late September, so longest motel stay ever. But finally got an offer accepted on a house, so hopefully not much longer of this. And then it's off to a brand new house adventure. Very exciting. And later I think I'll publish a few videos about the experience. I think it's worth talking about because it's the most insane market I've ever seen. Hands down, people trying to sell turds for half a million dollars, people trying to blow smoke up your ass, realtors, I've never seen anything like it. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a very interesting discussion. I'll see you next time and thanks for watching. Looking like a yay sucking reporter. <laughs> Is that what you're going to do? <laughs> yeah. This is the news. <laughs>